So the first thing that we need to do is to, to activate the Learning Mastery Gradebook in the settings of the class. And uh, you have to flag this, um, this uh, point here. And then you need to create your outcomes uh, in your Canvas class. So you see here, I've created my um, 10 topics and those are the quiz outcomes. And then I create my rubrics for each of my quizzes. And again, they might vary from problem to problem, but at the end of each rubric, I add my outcome. And uh, I don't use the outcome to give an additional point. I just use the outcome to trace how students are doing. And so you have to be careful a little bit to what you some of the parameters that you flag. And in a previous seminar, Bob Foreman showed me a way, showed us a way to import rubrics from an Excel file. And um, I'm sure Eileen can provide the information for that. And once I create the rubric with the outcome, I can go in my speed grader, in my speed grading uh, system. Again, students do the class, uh, the quizzing class in person. And then before I, um, before they submit it to me, they take a picture and they quickly upload it into Canvas so that they can have a record in their Canvas of their quiz. I usually create the paper copies, I prefer it, but then I can show them the uh, rubrics in Canvas and I can track the outcome. So at the end, if the uh, assessment is passed, I, uh, I clicked on the, I flagged the needs expectation for the outcome here. And if it needs revision, I flag the needs revision uh, outcome. And then when you go in gradebook, you usually see the first time the traditional gradebook that Canvas displays. And if you select the learning master gradebook instead, you can see the progression of the students. And I find it very handy to track the multiple retakes and know how each student is progressing in the class. I also have an Excel file to have some more granularity, uh, but this is very helpful to have a quick view of how things are going. Um, in general, I found students to appreciate the fact that they have multiple options to retake the quizzes, so they find it less stressful and they usually like it. Um, and they, they like that there is flexibility that if they miss one quiz, they can easily retake it. I don't think they're taking advantage of the system, uh, but they are truly just um, working on uh, their progress. And something that um, I think needs to be uh, revised a little bit is that it can be discouraging for the students who keep failing the same topic and are not able to progress. So I still have two or three students this week that have not passed quiz two and after six attempts, and there are a group of students already on their quiz six uh, that they will take this week. So I'm thinking of allowing them some flexibility in the next couple of weeks and but in taking quizzes further down uh, so that they are not as discouraged in the progression of the semester, but still giving them um, the constraint that they need to pass all those seven quizzes before the end of the semester. Um, this is everything I wanted to present today about this class. Uh, so I'm happy to pass the floor to Nikos.